So the infamous FOIL method, F-O-I-L, you know, that's an acronym, first, outside, inside, last. It's just like a way to memorize the method or the process between, behind uh, multiplying, I'll do a positives to start, um, multiplying two binomials by one, two, one, two. And it's pretty straightforward. I, the, the whole like order of FOIL is not mandatory. It, you could do this multiplying in any order you want. Somebody thought this was cool back in like the 20s or something and then it's stuck and we're, we do it. But basically, this is what it stands for. First, outside, inside, last. So you're gonna do first times first. <coughs> Let's do the F first. First times first. This guy and this guy. First times first would be X times X is X squared. Outside, oh, is outside times outside. He's the outermost, he's the outermost on his half, so x times three or three times x is plus three x. Then inside times inside, innermost guy, you know, innermost guy, positive two times x is a two x. And then you do last times last, which would be two times three is six, right? And then you're done, that's foiling, it's pretty mellow. The one thing is, is that in almost every case of when you FOIL, these two guys, these inside guys, are usually like terms. So you can add them and you have to add them to simplify. So this would be x squared plus, in this case, it'd be 5x plus 6, and you're totally done. So the FOIL method's easy, kind of. I mean, just, you know, it could easily be FIOL, and that would come out right, or Lefo, I don't know, whatever, but FOIL is the way they do it and it, and it does come out in the right order because you do want the largest exponent and the next exponent and then no exponent for X, right? So it, the order is correct. And, um, and as long as you add the terms in the middle, you're gonna get the right answer. And the, the, what you'll see later with factoring is, basically when you FOIL something, it's the opposite of factoring it. So when you understand how to FOIL, and you understand how to factor, it's good to check your solutions back and forth. In this case, I could easily factor it to see if it goes back to the, the start, I know I did it right, right? So that's how it's done. And remember, if you're struggling with this in school, Algebra 2, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School and get your credits there and have them transferred back to your local high school.